What is up everybody here with another movie haul video for you today. Picked up these 11 titles at a local half price books. Uh, pretty happy with what I picked up. Uh, one of them was actually kind of funny so I had to snag it up. But uh, been trying to get into some UFC since I watched uh, the Brock Lesnar UFC pay-per-view. So I found this one for $4, UFC uh, 162. Uh, Silva and Weidman, this is the first one I'm guessing. Uh, where Silva's leg was not broken. But uh, hoping this is a solid watch. You know, like, I don't really know a lot about UFC, so, you know, all I can do is hope. <laughs> then I got uh, UFC 164 with Henderson and Pettis. Uh, looks like it has a pretty good... Uh, Ryan Couture, I'm guessing that's uh, Randy Couture's son. But yeah, you know, I know Frank Mir's name sounds familiar. You know, so some names that are recognizable on here at least. Again, hoping it's a good watch, only five bucks, so not too bad. Then we got Weidman Silva, Silva 2 with uh, UFC 168 along with uh, Rousey and Tate. This is the one I hear where uh, Anderson Silva breaks his leg, so that... That could be pretty gruesome to watch, I'm sure. But uh, Ronda Rousey's fights are known for being really short, but I still haven't seen one of her fights. So kind of uh, kind of looking forward to that. A little bit on the pricier side than the other two at least, but still not that bad. Then we got UFC 170. Again, another Ronda Rousey uh, thing. Did this, uh, at least reading the back of this, I seem to realize a lot more of the names on this card than any of the other cards. So this one might be a pretty solid watch. Then on the clearance rack, I found the second season of This Is Us. Discs were in great condition, only $3. So I had to pick it up, heard this is an amazing show. Still haven't watched it, so Looking forward to watching this now that I have uh, the first two seasons. Then on the clearance rack, I also found the third season. And it's factory sealed, so discs are in great condition. You know, yeah, I like getting uh, three seasons of a show for only $9. So, so looking forward to watching this. You know, Comment down below if you've ever seen the show, if it's a good watch or whatnot. I know it was one of NBC's highest rated shows. Uh, then I found Nightfall Season 2 on the clearance rack for $3. So I'll have to uh, be on the lookout for Season 1. I uh, heard this was a pretty good show. You know, it was on the, you know, obviously the same channel that Vikings was on. So hopefully it'll be a fun watch. Not a huge Mark Hamill fan, but whatever. And then we've got The Crown. I got this the third season for $5, which is unusual. Discs were in great condition. But if you look closely at the tag, they tagged it wrong. They tagged it Larry Crown, the Tom Hanks movie. So I guess that was a mistake in my favor. But uh, still very happy to have this now. So I have seasons one and three for this. And then off the clearance rack, I got Jersey Girl with Ben Affleck. Uh, just trying to get into some rom-coms. You know, you never go wrong with that. And it's Kevin Smith, so has a pretty spectacular cast like most of his movies do. Heard it was a fun watch with some funny moments in it. So looking forward to that one. Then just because it was on the clearance rack, I got Dead in Tombstone with Danny Trejo. Really not a Danny Trejo fan whatsoever. I have seen the trailer for this movie in, in front of some other movies. And it just kind of looked like some cheesy, ridiculous fun. So why not check it out? It definitely looks better than Machete did. So for only $3, I thought it was worth the gamble. And then finally, I picked up Johnny Monomic with Keanu Reeves for only $3. Never seen this movie. Big Keanu Reeves fan, though. Dolph Lundgren is in it as well, so it's a Dolph Lundgren movie I did not own. 
So definitely looking forward to watching this one. Comments down below if you've ever seen this one before. Definitely would like to hear your opinion on it. But that does it for this movie haul. If you like content like this, please like and subscribe. Your support is much appreciated. I am also over on Letterboxd. The link to that is in the profile description of this channel. Otherwise, until next time, guys.